I prefer to have site stabilization. I know some that actually drop SS for some reason. I like it though. I can't deal without it. Mm, can I improve this in any way? Heal and SS. If I drop these two, I can go bomber speed and then go this, I think. Uh, let's try that out. Do this. Okay. Slot 5, it's consumables mod. Basically what this does, it's um, just consumable action time for your squadrons. And the reason why one would pick this is because it improves your fighter um, action time. But the main thing is, it's going to be for your torpedo bomber heal. You don't know what that means? Is your So your, you know how your squadron has consumables, right? It has T key, R key, and then a, um, well, mine is binded to Q, but your torpedo bombers have heal. It improves the duration of the, of the active time of it. So it improves... It makes the fighters last longer. It makes your engine boost active time longer. So in this case, it's 7.5 seconds for this. So you can hold W longer. And then your heal lasts longer. Without it, if I take it off, the base duration of the heal is going to be only doing 5 seconds. But that's how long my heal will be going on for. If I use this, boosts up to 7.5 seconds which basically means I can do like one run and a half with this active and the reason why you would run people consider running consumable mod on Hakuryu is because um, the Japanese carriers the tier 8 uh, Shokaku and the Haku their torpedo bomber heal is 120 seconds uh, cooldown on another carrier, for example, any other carrier in the game, like a Midway, uh, uh, Audacious, Torpedo Bomber here, a heal on average, usually is going to be 180 seconds. So everyone has three minutes of cooldown on the on the heal. The Haku and the, the Haku, Shokaku, and now the tier 11, or sorry, tier 12, um, Super Haku, they all have uh, two minutes cooldown, which is one minute faster, which is very, very strong. They're the only carriers in the game that have this two minute heal. But that's why people like to invest more into it. Faster heal cool oh sorry, yeah, faster heal cooldown with a longer duration heal. Um is very, very powerful. Especially since you your main damage output is gonna be from torps. So people like to go all in on the torpedo um survival. Is this what I think it is? It is. I wonder what video he's stirring up this time. My boy online. Is anyone online? Just go solo. Never seen me use a heal. I always use it during the strike. Like if I'm doing the attack run, I do it before or during the attack run or after I release my payload and then I'm I'm coming around um for the chain strike. That's when I start using my heal. You just lose like quite a lot of planes. So with Haku, I'm assuming what you're doing or with the Shokaku Haku or anything like that, after you release your torps, I'm assuming that you're immediately pressing the brakes and trying to get that 180 turn, right? If you do that, you're always going to be sitting inside the, the ship's anti-air bubble. And because Haku has fragile planes, you're just going to lose all of them. You're only going to be maybe able to get two drops off total, maybe three drops and a half, or maybe you know a partial of the third drop. But when you recall the planes, they're just, they're just going to die. So if you, if you drop your torps on a ship, best thing to do is just fly out of the AA zone. Once you're out of the AA zone, 
you can loop around, start the attack run early, and if you start if you start your your attack run, you actually gain a damage reduction buff on your squadron. A lot of people don't know that. So starting your attack run earlier, gaining that damage reduction, and then just being able to let the torpedoes aim down all the way, and then you can adjust it later, and then getting that drop off. All this while you're outside of the AA bubble is probably one of the best ways to conserve your um your squadrons. <clears throat> what are we facing? Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Nice. Nevsky not play opening. That's really annoying lineup. Find one Sherman, we find the other one because they're in a division. Mm. No name, thanks for the follow. Drop a fighter here. There's one. Who's this? Rename? Like that. That's the rando. The, the solo Sherman. There's the other Sherman. He stops all the way. He does. Unfortunate. That's fine though. We at least found where they are. That's a DFA on the Sherman too, so we're not gonna drop that. Let's get at least one strike on the Montana, so this, this run is not completely wasted. And then we'll just focus the A side. We're not even gonna deal with the C cap. It's good that the two Shermans are together with the Nevsky on the same cap. That's very convenient for us. Conveniently staying stationary, thank you. Yes, okay. We can do one more strike. Yo, the Nevsky dies, that's huge. Our fighter right here is actually killing him. <laughs> Jesus. He's in a crossfire now between the Kremlin, Des Moines, and then the Vermont. Beautiful. Oh, well, because their fighters are spotting him. So he peeks out there, the Vermont just claps him over the island, I think. I'm gonna use this island to get this next drop off. Our submarine just got clapped as well. Okay. Alright, what do we do? Let's focus the other side. Let's not deal with these DDs. Doing a little bit of a damage farming. Hopefully Nevsky dies. Why did why did he shoot the Sherman? Shoot the Nevsky, bro. Do I have to kill him? I was hoping the Vermont would kill him. That salvo looks good. Clap, clap. Nope, very close actually. Elbing should be able to kill him. Ooh, 99 HP. Man's having fun. Sherman is here too. Let's go straight to the Yamato. Man, I hate Shermans. They always have DFA. Either way though, we only lose just one plane. Two plane to that, so it's like whatever. DFA is a joke. Especially if you're flying around like 230 knots. It's like you just go in and out of it. Don't eat flak. The continuous damage buff is useless. One, that's what we said. Let's be blind, drop this. And we got him, nice. Alright, so now we have options. I guess we go for the GK, he's bow in, or we can strike the Yamato. for this sub. Okay. 
We got a submarine hunter in chat or in the game. Sherman as well, nice. There's a Sherman smoke. Let's go around. Drop the Yamato here. Yamato should die first. That's really unlucky. Oh, that's unlucky. And we ate that flak. These are bombs on the Yamato now. Sherman's the FAA hopefully is down, please. That the FAA is really annoying. Yamato's engine is down. Yo, speaking of Yamato, I was watching a YouTube channel called Dark Seas. Dude, the way he's the way he pronounces Dar uh Yamato is so aggravating. Like I cannot I cannot like watch his videos whenever he talks about the Yamato. He always says Yamoto. Like bruh. Also, he 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 called um he called the the Musashi a cruiser in one of his videos. I was really aggravated. Who? Dark Seas. He's a very informative, very fun to watch channel until he starts talking about the Yamato. He literally pronounces every other Japanese ship perfectly, which is really um, impressive. But then when he says the Yamato, it's Yamoto. It's like bruh. That's the only time I have issues, <laughs> and I was watching so many videos today of like, um, you know, the the battle of of what's it called, uh, Samir, Samir, Leyte Golf, the Surigao Strait, all those kind of stuff. And then he's just talking about the Yamato. I'm just like, dude, please read the comment section. Everyone is saying the same thing. Accelerates <laughs> forward here. Space out our torps. Hopefully this one catches him. And boom. One torp is good enough. He's crippled. Cannot heal that back. Well, he doesn't even have a heal actually. So if he DCPs that... Or sorry, no. He didn't break anything, so... Usually we'll be um, crippling other DDs if they have a heal. Like a small end, for example. Because that's unhealable damage. It was very strong for those kind of moments. But yeah, Dark Souls, or not Dark Souls, Dark Seas. It's a very good channel until, until your model starts starts uh, sailing along. Oh my god, we actually torped him. Holy Jesus. That's pretty good. Continuous damage reduction isn't critical. I always thought we I thought we always took it. Uh yeah, so the damage reduction from your attack runs, it only applies when you press the attack animation and then your reticle is ready. But that damage reduction is very helpful because sometimes carriers um damage reduction can vary from like uh zero percent which are usually rocket planes to about like like i think 50 percent 
like for example Aquila, Aquila back in testing she had a 60% reduction on her torpedo bombers which is really crazy but it was nerfed um, so she has what like 45 or 50% now but it's still really strong so just starting the attack run early just means that you have you can um, you can reduce more damage taken from continuous AA uh no really Right, this is how I usually just play Haku. Torp DDs and never use rockets unless I absolutely have to. And then just use my bombs on whenever targets are in crossfire, they can't turn. But yeah, torping DDs is essential on Haku and Shokaku. And the now the, the Super Haku that's available to only those who did the auction stuff right now. If you can't torp DDs effectively, you have to deal with the rockets. And the rockets, as everyone knows, is pretty tragic. Because it's a long aiming time on it, or long rocket time, uh, machine guns. He's reversing, probably. No way he's gonna accelerate forward. If he accelerates forward, we push him out to the Kremlin. What if you got the Holland? You just don't torp it. You don't focus him down. You just spot him. You drop Ra's fighters so that your team can, can shoot at him. You don't have to deal damage to the Holland because his AA is in insane. Boom. And the Z fifty two should be able to kill the uh, the Immelman. That's an Immelman, right? Oh, it's a Malta. Yeah, I also cannot wait for the Shinano. But if you have a Holland, you don't have to strike him. Unless, you know, unless he needs to die, like, you have to win the game and he's, like, in the way. A Holland is usually a care uh, a DD that I just never deal with. Holland, Smalland. Unless I, ha I know I have my div mates or my teammates who are ready to shoot at him, then that's when I go and spot him and actually strike him. But most of the time though, I just drop a fighter, like just outside his his um his AA zone, if he leaves it on, or just drop it on top of him and then um that that, that gives to um your teammates some time to shoot at him. Alright, and we just win the game. Very nice. Yay. I, I spam fighters just for spotting. Like, look at the amount of fighters I dropped. I think this is like... This is... Five... Six... Like, four or five. I dropped right on top of the Sherman so I can spot them. <laughs> 